Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Jeff Morgan. This is going to be a video on the Nationals as they continue to have a very solid offseason as they now are able to also, <clears throat> on top of all the key additions they made, and Nelson Cruz, the boomstick, to be able to be in there to protect Juan Soto. On top of him, they're able to add Aaron Sanchez, who had a bounce-back season last year um, in San Fran, and it's going to be interesting to see what he can do. He only pitched about 600 pitches last year compared to the last time in the bigs over 2,000 and prior to that over 1,000. So it'll be interesting to see what he can do if they put him more in a starting role, but he definitely started regaining steam with the Giants and showing the stuff not to the same degree as he showed when he first came into the league where he was just popping in and getting guys out left and right when he was on Toronto, but he definitely is showing pizzazz and promise again and spunk with his delivery and his stuff. So he's definitely a good, solid pickup when it comes to the Nationals. And then a great pickup is to get Nelson Cruz, because at the very least, if um, with the extra playoffs spots, the Nationals aren't able to be one of those bubble teams, so to speak, which I'm not sure if they will be going in, but we'll have to see. The NL East is going to be a bloodbath this year. Um, it's definitely going to be a fun division, but it's going to be interesting to see what they're able to do. We got... You got Cruz, you got um, is Rosma Ramirez, you also picked up that I talked about in another video, who has a chance to be a decent reliever. Sanchez definitely, to me, is at least going to be a good reliever if he's not a starter. You picked up Anibal Sanchez, uh, Gerardo Parra, brought back the baby shark, who's great for the locker room. Steve Ciszek is one of the most underrated uh, relievers. He's just been consistent in his entire career. So I would say the Nationals, as far, have had a very under-the-radar um, good offseason, just because some people... Uh, teams have made maybe bigger moves, but they have had a solid good offseason. To throw it in also in this video, just to get it out of the way, Chris Herman's a very solid fielding catcher, uh, also the name of a guy in um, Chicago Fire, but Chris Herman's a very solid fielding catcher. Uh, he just isn't the best hit, hitter, particularly, but if he can hit well. And then you got Sean Doolittle back there on a one-year deal. Obviously, he can pitch a good lefty there. Even though he struggled some, I still believe in Sean Doolittle and think he'll have a good season. So I think the Nationals are having a B-plus at very least uh, level offseason because they're putting themselves in a solid spot to maybe be a surprise team with the acquisitions they made. I don't think they're a top contender, obviously, but I think they're definitely putting themselves in the position to be a surprise team. That's for damn sure. So this has been a quick video on the Nationals and their acquisitions during the offseason, particularly the Nelson Cruz one, being able to get Herman to a signing, and also being able to get Aaron Sanchez, who was reviving, rebuilding his career, and obviously keeping Sean Doolittle, because Sean Doolittle is a very good lefty that I think will have a good year this year. So please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the Easy Dudes Wizard to keep us growing to 215 by the end of March. I appreciate you all this far. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.